Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest the Champions. I'm going to do a video all about some tips and tricks when it comes to MODOK Labs. If you're not familiar with what MODOK Labs is, it's an event that's currently running in the game. And what's really kind of like unusual about it is that we get these things called randomizers. So we get up to a boss and then there's these buffs that are on the enemy. Similar to like random ones, really kind of painful ones, similar to stuff you see in Act 5. If you're not at Act 5 yet, then well, look out for some pretty mean buffs. So what we've got here is a load of buffs on the enemy, and you then get this decision with the randomizers, which as you can see are over here. These are the things that then allow you to change things up. So if you don't like them or you find them really intimidating, then you can change them by pressing the randomizer. Modox Lab as an event will end on the 3rd of January 2018 and so far has been a really good event to kind of grind out stuff. Lots of opportunities to get things like this. Four star shards, five star shards, obviously some more randomizers and the four star signature stone crystal as well as other things with regards to it like three star ones and five star ones. Modox Lab as an event has been pretty darn good so far. The stuff that you can get from it is brilliant. Obviously, it's all about the grind, and the more you grind out, the better the stuff you're going to get back in return. Five star signature stone crystals are great from this one here. And then obviously you've got the four star and the three star one as you go down the line to the prems at the, uh, the very easy. The next thing is obviously five star shards. If you do extensively, like a large amount of it between now and the 3rd of January, you will get those five star shards with 200 five star shards being got every time you complete this one and then you get 75 from completing the hard one so you know it does add up there's more opportunities than you might think so there's lots going on with it but you may think that hey you know i i'm kind of new to the game i don't think i'll be able to do this one that's fine if you kind of like aim to do the four star one then that's still pretty cool in any case and obviously accept your limitations it will come to a point next time kabam launch an event like this you probably will be at that stage where you'll be able to blast through this. But all that being said, let's get into the full Manouche of the plan. Manouche being that reference in Guardians of the Galaxy when he talks about the Manouche of the plan. You'll get it if you... it doesn't matter. Let's get into the guide. I'm going to focus my attention on Expert because it's the most difficult one and I think this is the one that everybody really would want to grind out regardless of your point in the game. But all of the kind of the guides and the information that we're going to follow really does apply for all of them. It doesn't really matter which one we're in. We're just going to do a difficult one. So let's start off with team selection and this is one of the kind of crucial things a lot of people will kind of go like oh yeah well i'll use my strongest and yes okay that's good to a point but this has been my current modok labs team it's a bit disappointing when i have to give up certain champions to things like alliance wars and alliance questing three of the champions in my team have immunities and the reason that they're chosen is because sometimes you come against things with regards to bleeds and poisons and enhance things which can really be a pest to you so Iceman's in there with regards to, well he's Iceman and he's pretty darn cool, as well as the fact that his damage output is amazing, got Cold Snap, we've got all these kind of like fantastic things that just make him ah, tasty as hell. The next thing is I've got Hulk in there and Hulk is actually going to be a big linchpin with regards to success with regards to things like Wraths and we'll get into that in a moment. And I've got Dormammu in there because he's power control, so we've got power control, we've got someone with fury. We've got somebody that's uh, cold snaps and all those kind of immunities. We've got two bleed damage outputters. And obviously if blade was awakened, then it'd be great for regen. So that would have been the kind of the focus there. I haven't really been focusing on putting a regening champion in there. And it may be something that I'd like to do. But I don't really have a strong regen champion except for Wolverine. And Wolverine is a champion that I use quite extensively in Alliance questing. So I've really got a kind of use my champions wisely however though i understand that not everybody's going to have these champions and that's cool with the seven day arena you should have a five star in your roster now so that could be potentially used in this the next thing is that to look for 554 stars and also spread them about so like we said bleed immune poison immune we've also got power control with dormammu so there's a good even balance as well as huge damage outputters with uh, Gwenpool and Blade and to a degree Iceman and, and Hulk. But with regards to bleed damage, you know, you just got those top two there. You don't have to use these champions. You could always use Ultron, Vision Age of Ultron and Mephisto for, for both type of immunities. Vision Age of Ultron is good because he can then power control. And, you know, when it looks to poison and you're looking at champions with fury, you could even go with Hulk. Uh, so there's a lot of other different champions you could use. You could even use Hyperion. Lots of different choices there. Here we are in the quest itself. And the first one that we've come up against is a cable. On the random active buffs, 
you can see and this is the top tip read these buffs it will take a little bit of time a little bit extra but it's good to understand these things to make light work of the situation prayer of the week seems to be a bit of a nuisance because when a positive effect expires then it's going to be power gain for the enemy the next thing that i see that has a potential issue is limber so it means that i'm going to have to watch the parries a little bit and combo shield but that's not really going to apply to me so that really is a pretty easy first start for this, I'm going to opt to use Dormammu. I'm not too certain with regards to the way that the soul bonds work and kind of the dimensional links. If that is kind of considered to be a kind of a positive buff on my champion. But at the same time, because he power controls, and that's the big thing, power control, that this champion is really good for this particular fight. Our next fight is against Doctor Strange. And this already looks like an amazing pairing because obviously we've got the class advantage. It looks pretty cool. But immunities debuffs Ooh, immune to all debuff effects not too great especially when you want to exercise that stun however though and this is the top tip and the great thing about having champions that have fury and in particular hulk is that wraths obviously we've got science wrath here with regards to the improvement of attack so that is something that we're going to see um i'm going to put him in there the other buffs don't look too uh too kind of like problematic so I may be able to kind of brute force it, which I'm going like to give a, give a try. It is disappointing, as I said, to kind of not have a stun debuff. But, you know, that tasty fury is going to be something I'm going to look for. And if you have Hulk in your roster and you come against anything and you have that Science Wrath in, he is going to exercise some incredible damage with, obviously, his abilities. As well as the fact if the stun's able to work, then he's going to kick some ass. And obviously, any champion on any class that has fury built into the champion's ability is going to be really helpful in this so it doesn't have to be hulk you could use champions like abomination black bolt captain marvel doctor strange drax juggernaut moon knight miss marvel punisher rhino scarlet witch star lord thanos thor ultron unstoppable colossus venom and winter soldier to name but a few we made light work of that doctor strange which was great however though when it comes to usage of randomizers try to really kind of say to yourself do i really need to use a, a randomizer for this so for example this is a a joe fix it fight that we've got coming up which is a hill block we've got this kind of aggressive thing immunity so it's immune to all debuff effects uh so yeah bane of damala and to a degree i could probably say that i could kind of muscle through this and save the randomizer but then sometimes you kind of like to say, well, I'd like to make a little bit of light work of the situation. So I'll give it one reroll chance. So we click the reroll and then have a look. There's already kind of like, this is the pr this is when it hits a problem. So we've got Science Wrath again. Hey, like this. We've then got Poison. We've then got Degeneration. Buff Duration. And again, this is something that maybe you could say is doable. If you have Science Wrath and then pair it off with a Hulk, you could probably say that you could make light work of the situation. Degeneration is annoying, frustrating, yes. But it depends on, like, if you've got this kind of boost of fury and you aggressively hit out, you may be able to kind of complete the damage of the champion and kind of get him down quite quickly. So that Joe Fixit fight didn't really lose an extensive amount of health. And I'm kind of, like, happy with the gamble. It just meant that I wasn't spending too much on randomizers, as I could probably need them, especially with this fight here, with this daredevil like we've got stun vulnerability we've got immune to poison we've got all or nothing we've even got starburst and i like the sweet starburst um it's a uk candy i don't know if it's in america anyway but i gotta reroll and see what we get now already that doesn't look too helpful bane of the damala that's damala that's you know it's all right um but it's not something that i'm really looking for uh, all champions but science reduce their attack by 50 percent uh, that again points in the direction of a class disadvantage because daredevil is skill and then we've also got slash tires which oh, i'm not a big fan of so these are the points where i kind of want to make this a little bit more easier for myself and we've got recovery we've got unblockable uh, for the first six fights of the of the fight that's okay ish especially if you kind of play catchy catchy hidey monkey and try and get away from all kind of damage i think this may be doable like i've been saying i don't really want to overspend on my randomizers as it may be a case i want to get some more and this is another top tip 
buy 12 every day. I know that seem, may seem a little bit weird, but at the same time, these will then go in your stash and you can then spend your heart's content. It will make the situation a lot easier. You can reclaim the gold back by grinding out arena. It would be more advantageous for you to have that in your stash so that therefore you're spending to kind of improve the situation and make it so much more easier for yourself. Here we are, the final champion to face, and already it's looking a bit annoying with regards to cornered. I absolutely hate cornered, so I'm going to re-roll that. We've got failed experiment. Good to see failed experiment because that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you're going to get a problem with a buff. Your opponent, so we've got power force. Your opponent's critical rating is increased up to 25% based on their current power. Okay. Shatter, nullify abilities, shatter their targets, dealing 1,300 direct damage for each effect nullified in this way. Mm. I think this may be passable. I may be fine with this. Uh, especially because, you know, Miss Marvel that we're facing off against isn't that difficult as an opponent. I'm... I quite kind of enjoy this fight, so yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a go. So there we have it. That's expert completed, and it really does apply for everything there. Check the buffs, check what the enemies got, and obviously make sure to use those randomizers. Make sure each day you purchase the randomizers just to make the situation better for yourself. You may find that that may not be an option, and you're getting some really decent buffs. I found this run incredibly easy, but that's only because the fact that the buffs actually felt really good for myself as well utilize those wraths when those wraths come up it's you know do make sure you're using champions that have good fury with them so i think going through this i had two to three times where science wrath came up and obviously hulk was a definite option for that the way that we dealt with that doctor strange fight we just obliterated him at times that we were doing criticals of 5000 off this five star this four star rank five even was just pretty impressive but obviously the same applies for all those champions i mentioned that do fury you know make sure you look at the list if you go to google and search fury champions marvel contest of champions you've got a list it may be an old list and we'd need an updated one but still it will cover a lot of champions you could use that are going to be really effective against those wraths make sure you look out for life transfer it didn't appear in this run but still when life transfer does come up it is really strong to to fight against because you will be getting all that life back as much as you you know hit out and i've had it where i've had degen on and as well as life transfer and that's really like fine for me like i think it was starburst was on as well as i was fighting with life transfer i didn't find i was losing any health and actually ended the match with regards to health all of it i had one thing you have to remember is accept when you're beat and sometimes it will happen i think it's happened to me once but i think that's through my own idiocy not properly looking at buffs and not really considering my own kind of thought process that i have now with regards to the way i'm playing also understanding relationships with the wraths as well as the right champions to use and i'm pretty happy with the champions that i am using in this game mode so thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy hit that like button uh, subscribe for more marvel contest of champions based content and let me know in the comments below what's your thoughts on modok labs is this a good event is it going to be a high grinder for people what's your thoughts let me know thanks very much and i'll catch you on the flip side bye bye for now